All right, my friends, how are you today? Aaron here bringing you daily horoscope for Tuesday, the 25th of February, 2020. All right, this is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful day. All right, we have the sun and Mercury lining up at six degrees of Pisces. All right. So Mercury, Sun conjunction in Pisces, very, very beautiful. And that is also going to perfectly trine to Mars at six degrees of Capricorn, okay? Mars is kind of cruising along right now. It's at a faster point in its, in its orbit. So it's moving along with the Sun, which is really, really exciting, right, these past two days. Um, the past three days, really, Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. It's been, you know, just about a degree a day. Okay, so this is, this is, mm. and, and further, we've got the moon moving to Aries, conjunct Chiron. Okay, let me show you the chart to show you what's going on here. I've got this set for 8 p.m., okay, that's when all this kind of magic is happening. You see Chiron and the moon conjunct here at three degrees, Mercury and the sun at six degrees, and then that trine up here to Mars at six degrees. Okay, so what is this all about? This is about opening up, okay? It's a continuation of yesterday's energy, no doubt. Well, let me, let me, hold on, before I get there, before I get there, let me just show you at what time, yeah, there you go, right around uh, 1 2 o'clock is when the moon is going to enter the sign of Aries. So the first part of our day, again, depending where you're at in the world, okay, we're gonna have this sense of, of still like dreamy, kind of, you know, just going slow, not rushing anything. And then the energy's gonna pick up around 2 p.m. ish, you know. Takes what, 13 minutes for the light of the sun to hit Earth, you know what I mean? So it's just like, Give it, give it time. It's not like 2 o'clock and all of a sudden you feel like you've just drank another cup of coffee. But nonetheless, the energy is there, right? The moon entering into Aries. Let's go. We've got a new journey to begin. Okay? What is this new journey about that we're beginning? One, connecting with Chiron later in the evening. This is certainly a need for emotional healing, as always. You know what I mean? There's, there's... There's certain senses, like I talked about last week, about when you don't need the cough medicine anymore. You know, when you don't need the crutches anymore. When you say, okay, I can walk on my own. You know, I, I don't need the cough medicine to, to suppress this cough because the cough it no longer exists, right? So there's, there's an one, on one side, there's an understanding of when we're done, we're done with something. But there's always something going on, you know, beneath the surface. There's always something going on that's that's bringing our attention to it okay so it's important for us to discern the differences of what those are you know so every month when the moon meets up with chiron and saying something about our instinctual habits and patterns need focus and attention right now it's something about the way that we're triggered you know it's like somebody can say a certain word you know or certain words in in, in conjunct into a, a sentence or paragraph that all of a sudden you can be from like this zen buddhist monk of peace and harmony and light and love namaste to like what did you just say <laughs> you know what i mean so so there's there's a tension coming on to this area as well you know if you haven't checked out the pluto eris video yet that i just put out a couple days ago hugely a part to do with that energy okay and that's gonna something that's gonna happen from now until october 2021 this teeter-totter back and forth of pluto square airs so that that video exists you know entirely of its own so but this energy is also reminding us of that there's something there's some sort of tick tock that's going to happen here um, that we need to be mindful of okay aside from that the exciting stuff okay is the mars trine the sun and mercury all at six degrees, okay? So on, on the Pisces side, okay, Pisces over here, Pisces, Sun, Mercury, six degrees. And this is saying an individual that ignores the collective, an individual that marches to the beat, the, the beat of their own drum, an individual that... Um, looks past social norms, looks past the need to fit in, okay? 
uh, looks past uh, the need to, you know, something like I've said in, in previous horoscopes, uh, keeping up with the Joneses, you know, of, oh, well, this this is the new in thing. All the kids are doing it. This is the greatest trend. So someone who, who, who sees beyond the trend itself, okay, that's what this is highlighting. Sun, ego, representation of ourselves, Mercury, communication, how we talk, how we trade services, what we're, you know, I mean, Venus is more about money, but at the same time, it's still, when you're trading goods, it's about what you're spending money on, you know? And during the retrograde, we can, of course, feel a need to buy things that we don't really need, you know, certainly. So, you know, getting past looking at the trend, and I'll, and I'll show you here as well, this, this is a beautiful alignment as well, this sextile here, only three degrees apart, let me go forward a couple hours when they connect again. There we go. Uh, is creating that sextile creative energy between water and earth over to Uranus. Uranus still creating the trine to Mars. Okay. And then the T square happening. We won't we'll talk about that right now. But th this is the this is the meat. Communication, ego, insight, who we are, what we're representing. Can we choose to disconnect from the social norms? Can we choose to, Mars in Capricorn here, open up to, to be a vessel? You know, like something I talked about what I think two days ago, I think it was in the New Moon video, about, you know, a sense of clairvoyancy. You know, uh, not speaking from ego, but speaking from a higher perspective. Speaking from, you know, it, intuitively, speaking intuitively, being a mouthpiece, you know, to guide, to lead, right? This is about being a leader, a leader of our own, not a leader of, you know, the coolest cat in town that's, that's got all the fun, cool toys that's super trendy and popular. You know, this isn't, this isn't that individual. And this is calling us to not be that individual. Nothing's wrong with, you know, being a very popular or if you're you know a trendy person if you like nice things that don't get me wrong it's not what this is about but th th it's about balancing that out you know balancing that out of not needing to feel that you have to have those things to fit in that you don't have to have all the cool toys that you don't have to believe what everybody else is saying but truthfully listen to yourself listen to your own heart listen to your higher guides listen to this higher consciousness allow it to speak through you and live through you in a sense it's like what does a human being need you know maybe that's a good start where this new journey when the moon's entering aries what do i need you know as we have this uh, vagueness of clarity on one hand with, with Mercury in the sign of, of Pisces, with the Sun in the sign of Pisces, our opposite is what? It's Virgo. Virgo is like, let's, let's write a list. Let's take some notes. Let's, let's write a vision board. You know, so that might be a good time to try this. What does a human being need? What does an Aaron need? What does a you what do you really need to survive? What do you really need to do? You know, finding clarity, finding some sort of answer in this, writing it down, being able to look at it, and then hang it somewhere near your bed or your fridge, somewhere where you're looking at it all the time, you know, reminding you, reminding ourselves. You know, we have everything. We have everything we need. It's all at a, an arm's grasp. In a, in a reach, you know? And then we have the <laughs> T-square. <laughs> you know, so there is, there is that tension of that healing part of it. You know, I don't want to let this go. I don't want to let this go. There's something that I want to hold on to. I can tell you, pers personal, personal story, I can tell you when I, was, when I was 21, I was hit by a drunk driver. Okay, that's what spiraled me into learning Reiki. The doctors just wanted to give me pills, you know, and like these Vicodin or whatever they're giving me just made me just stupid, you know, and I was just like, I can't, you know, take these pills. I was seeing a chiropractor three times a week for months, like nothing helped. So I, 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 I found a, a Reiki master, started learning Reiki, started learning different ways to heal myself. Okay. Um, 
I, I went to a holistic school of theology. I learned about singing bowls and uh, an oncologist who uses singing bowls and sound to bring cancer patients into remission, okay? And I was 21 years old. So this was 16 years ago, right? So, and at that time, 21-year-olds were not doing what I was doing, you know? And, and I wanted to fit in. I wanted to be with my friends. I wanted to go out and party and have fun and not just be this Zen singing bowl guy. You know what I mean? And, and I made a conscious choice. And I said, I, I want to still live like a 21-year-old right now. I don't want this yet, you know? Now, what would have happened if I, I mean, I, I still do and have practiced those things since then, but I didn't put my, all of my time and energy into it um, that I could have. And I made, a, again, I made a conscious decision to say, like, I want to wait on this part of my life. And now it's coming into, like, crazy full, you know, you know, it's exploding. It's, it's, it's so part of who I am that I cannot deny it anymore that I'd much rather go play singing bowls and ohm and, and, and whatever on a Friday night than go out and party with my friends, you know? So it was, it was something personal that I had to experience, you know? So we're all going to be, that's part of this T-square, you know? We're dealing with what, are we, do we want to let go of this? Do we want to let go of being whatever age we're at and this part of ourselves? Do we really want to move forward with where we're supposed, where we're going to end up? You know, because ultimately we're going to end up there. <laughs> you know, it's like I didn't really have a choice in the matter of the, how things spiraled out. You know, I'm, I was meant to be this sound guy, singing bowl dude, whatever, you know. But at my young age, I didn't want to be, like, stamped as that for some strange reason. I just wanted to be a normal 21-year-old kid and have fun, you know. So that's part of our T-square, part of this learning. And it's opening up and saying, can I, can I let go of this right now? Can I, can I truly choose this other path? And that's up to us and all of our individual journeys on, on how we choose to go about that because we're eventually going to end up there anyway. You know, the path of least resistance, the more we fight against it, you know, it's only going to hurt more than, than just giving in, opening up and surrendering and saying, okay, okay, spirit, okay, universe, okay, source, okay, God, whatever, you know, you want to say, I hear you. And I'm willing to do the work now. I'm willing to commit to this, you know, all this Capricorn energy commitment. <laughs> all right. So that's our day. Happy Tuesday, my friends. It is an amazing day, and I wish you the best. I love you, and I wish you enough. All right. We'll see you tomorrow.